Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with ReactorTutorials.com and in this video I'll show you how to implement ring modulation in Reactor. This is very simple, I get asked how to do it pretty often. So basically ring modulation, literally you just take two signals and multiply them against each other. That's ring modulation. So in this example I'm just using two sawtooth waves at different pitches. So this method works all right, but it will create a little aliasing at higher frequencies. And there's a pretty simple way to reduce the aliasing. I'll show you how to do that in a new macro. We're going to take both of our audio inputs and add them to a delayed version of themselves using the unit delay module in the delay menu. This is just going to, going to delay the input by a single sample period and we'll use this structure for both of our audio inputs. Then we can multiply them together as we did before. However, the signals have gotten a little larger than they were previously because of all of the adding that we've been doing. So we're gonna multiply by a value less than one in order to bring down the volume a little bit. And we're almost done need to subtract a value from our product and it's going to be the output of the macro delayed by a single sample using the unit delay module once again and then the output of our macro is going to be the output of the subtract function and that's how to do ring modulation in reactor